I wanted to share a cool feature I discovered the other day in my iOS health app. If you wear an Apple Watch and keep it unobstructed, your watch will measure the time you spend in daylight and build a nifty little chart here showing how much time you've spent out in daylight each day, week, and month. Your Apple Watch has an ambient light sensor, which automatically tracks the amount of daylight exposure you get. So as long as you're not covering your watch with a long-sleeved shirt, this is pretty accurate. You can also use this to monitor your family member's daylight exposure, which can be good for parents with young children. And of course, if you don't like it, you can disable it from the Apple Watch privacy settings. To check this on your iPhone, open the Health app, scroll down to All Health Data, and find Time in Daylight. As someone who spends approximately 8 hours a day in an edit bay with no natural light at all, I can't emphasize how important it is to get enough daylight. This is not a health channel by any means, but here's some of the health benefits you get from daylight exposure. We're talking everything from vitamin D production to better sleep and better cognitive function. In other words, your brain works better. If you're struggling with sleep, especially the early morning daylight is going to be good for your body's internal clock. Mood improvement is also a huge factor, and you might not realize how much daylight exposure affects this until you don't get enough. Like I said, I spend my work days in a room that only has artificial light, and even though it's a pretty comfortable setup, I definitely feel the effects on my mood after spending too much time in my office. Sufficient exposure to daylight can also improve your memory, help with stress, and boost your immune system. I'm not trying to be Andrew Huberman here, but I know a lot of you guys probably spend a lot of time on your electronics, so take it from a fellow nerd. Daylight exposure will make you happier and healthier, and a lot of times it can help you be better and sharper at all the other activities you do when you're indoors. So slap on that Apple Watch, spend some time outdoors, and maybe take a quick look at your health app every now and then to make sure you're getting enough daylight. And that wraps up today's quick tutorial. We got a lot more of these in the works, so make sure to subscribe before you go enjoy that daylight, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.